Hey folks, I'm Joanne with Quiet Waters Farm and Craft. So today is craft making day and I'm gonna show you how I make cool little signs with these foam cardboard, um, I guess foam board, not foam cardboard, um, foam boards from the Dollar Tree. I find that to be around the cheapest. Um, you know, you can get them at Dollar General, you can get them at Walmart, Target, wherever you want, um, but I just go to the Dollar Tree and get mine. Um, but I bought, I got that and then I get these little um, sticks here. They're just really thin and they are like f four feet tall. Um, I get them in a bundle pack, which is like between, just depends on if they have a seller or not. They're anywhere between 12 to $15 for a humongous bundle. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch over there and I've used quite a bit. You're gonna need about four or five of those. Now, if you go to your local hardware store, they should have those there. Um, I go to Menards and get them. And if you just wanna buy the single ones, I believe they're between 29 or 15 to 30 cents a piece. So just four or five is really not expensive. So I went there, I got those, and then I got me a stain. Now, if you don't feel like messing with stain, you can get the furniture markers that they do have at the Dollar Tree, and you can just color the crap out of those if you don't feel like dealing with stain. I've done that on smaller pictures, um, but with the rather larger ones, I like to do the, um, the stain. So I have chosen a dark walnut stain um, for this sign. I actually made this one earlier and the wording is going to be a little bit different, but it says, let's stay home. And as you can see, I used the black and then my stain um, that I have, but I have to uh, fill my booth up. So I figured I would show you guys how I make these signs, but I'm gonna do this, let's get cozy. Now, if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette at home, you know, um, either you can order, um, certain decals online, Etsy, Amazon, whatever you want. If not, go to the store and get some stencils. When I first started doing crafting, I used stencils. Um, so they are a little bit more tricky, but it's really up to you what you want to use. Um, so I'm gonna be making this let's get cozy sign, but I just wanna show you that let's stay home sign just so you can kind of see what it is it's just a little bit smaller um all that i did for the let's stay home i just literally cut my um foam board in half and then i doubled it up because i wanted it to be a little bit thicker and more sturdier now the best thing with these is you don't if you don't like using nails at home this kind of idea came from my aunt uh, because they live in a log home and they don't want to ruin their um the logs by sticking a bunch of nails in it. So a lot of stuff, if they hang it on the wall, they use command strips. So these are fairly lightweight. I mean, you have a couple of furring strips and you have a foam board. So it's really not heavy at all. So if you're looking for something lightweight and something easy to do, um, a nice little craft to do, this would be the best thing to do. Now you can also use the white ones too. Um, I have a, I'm filled up with the white ones. So um, I just need some accent pieces. Um, that were a different color other than white or gray. So that's why I chose to do the black today. So I'm gonna get uh, my camera put up there on the pedestal and I'm gonna show you what I've got. I've already got everything cut. Now, if also, if you guys live like me, I live in an apartment now, um, but I bought this little um, saw box, um, miter box thing. I forget what it's called. I got it at my local hardware store anyways. You can take that and you can cut your boards with it. If you, you know, even if you're not feeling comfortable with using um, power tools, that is a great tool. It has literally cut all my little pieces and it does great. So whichever you want to use, whether it's power tools or the little miter box saw, um, use either one. So let's get started. Okay. So here's my sign, it's just a little bit smaller. So I've cut all my pieces, I've laid them all out. Um, and first what you want to do, let me set this off to the side here, is you wanna cut pieces. Now whether you want these to be longer and then these being the short, it's really up to you. I've just kind of chosen to do it this way. So we're literally going to do an inside frame on our poster or on our uh, foam board here. So that way it's right flush with the outside. 
And then we can come back with these outer pieces that I've cut and we'll glue those on the side. So we're gonna glue this down first. I'm gonna take this off so you can kind of see here where I cut both pieces and I just have hot glued them together. Okay, now if you are a horrible cutter, um, get one of these. They do have these at the Dollar Tree now. They started selling them. It's cheaper than to go to Walmart, but you need to get one of these. These are the best things and then you could just take this down and do two strikes across is what I use. So I'm going to get my pieces arranged where I need them so that way it'll be easy for me to use my hot glue here. Make sure my frame is where it needs to be. So then all I gotta do is flip my um, pieces over, stick a little bit of glue on there, and we're good to go. All right. Now, I also, um, if you find these boxes, these are great. They are perfect for your hot glue sticks. So if you don't have one of these, these are great. I'll hold it all in there. And we're gonna start gluing. So I'm just gonna take a couple little swipes down there and stick it on. I'm just gonna hold it down for a couple seconds. Now these foam boards tend to, I mean, look, this side's raised. So when we do the outer, I'll show you how I do that because if you do it like this and you lay it down and you pop these up, you're going to have a very uneven foam board. So we're going to have to be a little bit tricky with this. <laughs> That's probably the only downer thing to this is if you paint the foam boards or um, after you cut them, they tend to kind of bend a little. So I'll show you what I do to make it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to pull that out, flip it over, and we are good to go. You know, if you're trying to save money and make your house look really cool, or maybe you need to come up with a gift for somebody and you just don't have a whole lot of money, um, I mean, without the glue sticks, I literally have under $3. Well, I guess under $10 if you want to count the stain. Because the stain can run anywhere from um, 5 or $6 if you get the um, half pint. But if you get the furniture markers, um, get two packages of those. Because sometimes your marker decides to kind of dry out. So that way you can kind of flip back and forth. Um, from those two markers, you know, they make a mahogany, a walnut, um, they have black if you do like a white frame. But I've used those before and they work just as good as stain, but you're just not getting the mess. Um, and you're not having to get, you know, gloves on and wait for them to dry. I mean, that's the longest process I would say to making this sign is waiting for the stain to dry. So if you don't want to deal with the stain, then I would say go with the furniture markers because they work just as great um, on these boards. Okay, so there's that. All right, so how I do this, and my foam board needs to be glued right here. It's as flat as possible. I think it helps build it up when you add the two pieces together. Now you don't have to do two pieces, but I just recommend doing the two pieces um, just to where you have that extra stability on that. So what I do, I'm put another glue stick in here, is I lay my piece down flat and I just glue one edge of it and I kind of make it pretty thick. And then I just pick up my board 
and I put it on there. Now, whether you put it in the middle of your board, if you want um, to hang this up and you want like a little um, edge, you can actually move this frame up a little bit and put it in the middle of this board to where you don't have to put any um, nail hangers. I can't even think of what they're called. Put them on the back to where you ruin anything on that and it stays pretty good. So that's what I did and it holds up really, really well. You know, like I said, if you don't want to put it right flush back with it, you can actually move it to the middle to where you see you will have that extra little hanger if you put it right there in the middle. So you got that little lip back there, but that's not what I want to do. All right, I'm going to flip this over because we need to do the opposite side and I need to add some glue in between these foam boards also to kind of keep them together. And this just doesn't take very long. I mean, it's just a simple little craft, whether you're doing it for your house or you're doing it for somebody else. Um, I just made a couple of signs for my cousin with these boards and I actually did um, a piece of, because she wanted a board on there on the front. And so I went to my local hardware store called Gilman's and I just got the laminate boards that you use for flooring. They're very thin, they're like a quarter inch. And I cut those out at my sister's house and used her saw. And then I actually used the, um, the foam board as a backer because the laminate board was just as thick as my foam board. So I wanted to make sure that it had extra backing on it. And it was mainly purposely for these boards up here to where it was a little bit thicker. All right. Now, now the purpose of me doing that, and see, you'll have a gap in there and I might have to put some twine in there. I've done twine and I've also done this really cool um, like furry yarn that I found at Walmart. I'm gonna move this side down here for a minute. And I put that in there, so I might try to put that on there since how I gapped it a little bit. So I'll show you a few different things that you can use. But that is kind of the purpose of why I lay it down because I, I try not to get that gap in there because if you do it like this and try to hold it, it just doesn't work out very well. You want to just try to, um, it needs pressure and for you to get almost the right amount of pressure, you have to hold it down. So that's why I've done it this way to where I don't have to worry about number one falling down and number two creating this gap that I just created for myself and now I'm going to have to fix it, which it's not really a big deal. It's just adding a little bit more um, decor to the poster. All right, get this in here. Plus you can make sure your edges are all straight and everything's together. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to add something on this because I don't like it. Okay, so if you can see in there, I have a nice little glue gap that I didn't want, but it's good to show you so you know. I gotta hold this a little bit more. This way it's coming apart. And put it right there. Now this might be a little gappy back here. I've kind of got where it didn't, I didn't push it all the way back. Not really a big deal. You're not gonna see the back. So what I'm gonna do, I gotta hold this so it doesn't fall. Is, um, we're just gonna add a line of hot glue here 
to where that stays right with that, to where it doesn't um, come off. It's that extra little protection there. All right, so we'll go one side at a time. And we're just adding a line of hot glue here and trying to keep it all the same. I don't like to keep stopping and going because I don't want it to look lumpy. I want it to look like a nice line of hot glue is what I want. that we got a line all the way around it and that turned out really really good so I'm very very pleased with it but I'm gonna show you let me leave that up because some of that is still not dry I'm gonna grab my um ball of yarn that I had found this fuzzy yarn I found at Walmart And I think it was around four or five dollars for this, but it's just so cute and I really love it. And I've done it in a couple signs, but it's got like this black backing here and I just think it's so cool. So let's put this in here to cover up my mistake. <laughs> I'm just going to start out with a little bit here and I take that black backing and that's what I put in the corner here just like that so now I can just go all the way down into that next corner here and just take this and just scooch it right up next to it and it should go in there just fine at times it will ravel on you but it's gonna look really really cute I really like it a lot and when you're pulling this just hold it down because with it being hot glue it just comes right off um, I had a couple problems with that before so I feel it's best to share my experiences whenever I can around and we'll just add this in here just like that all right another and you could actually even do just little dots if you want to but I just rather be safe than sorry and I just don't want it to fall off so Get 
sometimes it can be just a little bit tricky for it to just unwind and go where you want it to go. Is not look so cute. I just, I love it. I think it just adds a little bit of extra. I had some stuff I just randomly buy just because I think it's cool. And that was one of the things that I had bought because I was like, I gotta find something to use this for. I'm not really into the whole knitting and stuff like that. I mean, I've done it before, but it's just not my cup of tea. I'd rather do cool looking things like this then sit there and do blankets and stuff it's just not me i'd rather just buy it <laughs> i love it i'd rather one of those things that you just buy all right this one here So cool. I love it. All right. Now we need to get our let's get cozy sign in here. And I'm going to put it right stuff on it. Hot glue on me. Make sure we don't have any stuff. Now, one other trick that I will show you is if you don't want to use transfer paper, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette and, you know, the, this transfer sticky paper that you can get use a lint roller. These work perfect for um, transferring your stuff. That way you're not spending so much money. You can get those for like a dollar or 50 cents. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, you can get them at Walmart. Um, pretty much everybody has them and they're inexpensive and you get way more. So I just take mine and I cut them in half. And then I take the side I didn't cut so that way I have a straight edge and I find out on here because see I have lines on the back. That way I can make sure it's straight. So I'm going to pair it up with a line. And yes, I do have the non-cut side. I put that on. And then I'm going to do this one here, just where I know it's even. And then we're going to take our little thingy here, scraper. And as you can see, it doesn't quite cover everything. I've got a little bit of the L sticking out in my little apostrophe up there. It's not going to hurt anything. It'll still come off. this and just pull it off. Some of them want to come off and some of them don't. My Y didn't fully go in there either. So, all right. So then we need to figure out where we're going to position this, which I want to put it in the middle. And that looks really good. Make sure we've got it level. Now, I whenever I make it on these, the black ones, the white ones really don't matter, but I just take my finger and go along with the word only because I've had the, um, the lint roller paper stick to my black foam board and it has kind of like ripped off a little piece. Thank goodness it was like right by a letter and I was able to like push it back down. Um, so you just kind of want to be careful. That would be the only flaw that I would say that would, that stinks about um, using the lint roller. 
is at times it can catch and pull that off of there. So, but just pull it as tight as you possibly can and just pull it up or down, whichever way you're putting it on there. And then that just comes off. Just like that. And see, I had a little bit come off there but you can't really tell. See, I had just a smidge come off and it's not really a big deal. There we go. There's our sign, under 10 bucks, fully made. You can put command strips on the back to where it's so, I mean, it is, it is so light and it's so easy. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope that you guys all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.